Hello and welcome to another Source Tune video. It's been a long time since the last one and I won't avoid the reasons why, but a short version is that life took a strong left turn uh, back in September, October, November last year and I no longer had any time to spare for this channel or for the website. Uh, things are a lot different now um, and should be a lot easier going into the third year of my engineering degree. Yeah, fantastic. Anyway, this video is on using the shell command to make hollow objects. Um, shell turns a solid body into a shell of itself with one face deleted so it's like taking a cylinder and turning it into a cup or a glass if you like. It hollows out the inside and leaves you with the uh, rim. Um, here we've got a rough outline of a cleaning product bottle made out of solid and swept extrusion and a couple of fillets to make it look more organic and not like a bag of censored. Um, you can find shell in either the features toolbar or in the drop down menu. Um, you simply need to select the face that you want to be open and SolidWorks will hollow out the body to the thickness that you specified there. Um, it's not too different um, in the variable thickness, it just means that you have to specify a general wall thickness and a base thickness. So if you like, it's like having a glass where the walls are 2mm thick and a base which is 5mm thick. Um, switching to a cutaway view um, after you've gone through that shows off the exact wall thickness. Um, when modelling in this way you need to try and avoid undercuts that will make moulding um, difficult when possible. Um, but otherwise that is about as complicated as it gets. Um, that's about it. I'm really keen to get this channel off to uh, another good start after having it lie around idle for about a year. So feel free to email me at chris at sellstudent.org asking for almost any tutorial like and I will try and make a video um, addressing your questions. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.